Few companies can boast of the connect Amul enjoys. As it links up 3.1 million farmers through 700,000 outlets with half a billion Indians and generations across the dining table in most Indian homes each day. The result is a 9,700 crore turnover company that hasn't given an inch to competitors in the key areas it operates in for decades. The company's MDR Sodi says success comes thanks to a combination of reasons. I think it's a basic philosophy which Dr. Korean and Tribhandas Patel formed about 50 years back. That is, you have to ensure the maximized returns to the milk producer. One was that objective. And second objective is to make products with using the latest technology but value for money products. So both, if you take care of both ends, and both ends we have masses, one side 3.1 million milk producers and other side 1.2 billion consumer. So if you take care of interest both the sides, you will be always <laughs> winner. How do you keep uh, an organization like this revitalized and energized? Because one thing that you can't miss when you come into Amul here is the energy of the place. So how do you kind of keep that vitality going? I think you get energy is out of two things only. One is the satisfaction, a second is the growth. Both is happening here. We are growing every year 20-25% and end of the day any professional working with this whole organization, they are satisfied because you see everybody is working for money. That is okay. But when you work here, you work for the farmers, you work for the have notes, end of the day you get some other type of kick besides the money. The kick in doing something larger than just a job may have kept people like RSODI in the same company for three decades and that larger purpose is perhaps what has also helped Amul remain one of the biggest brands in India. So how was this done? Go deeper and you will see that outside the business success scripted by the team headed by Dr. Varghese Kurian was a success achieved by a cross-section of people who helped create the brand Amul. And both were intrinsically linked by this man, award-winning director Shyam Beringal, who told the story of Amul with his film Manthan in 1976. My own interest in it was awakened largely because I worked for an advertising agency that advertised Amul uh, products. And uh, then, of course, Dr. Korean asked me to make a couple of documentaries when he moved uh, to NDDB as the chairman. And that was the National <coughs> Dairy Board. And at that time, the idea was that uh, they were trying to create cooperatives in other kinds of parts of India. And that whole scheme was called Operation Flood. And so I made two documentaries, Operation Flood 1 and Operation Flood 2. During which, of course, I came across some wonderful stories, heartwarming stories, and also about the kind of resistance there was in some places and so on to the creation of cooperatives themselves. And it is during that time I came up with this idea and told Dr. Korean, why don't I make a feature? Because you see documentaries in our country unfortunately go to only people who are already converted. It preaches to the converted largely because we have no scheme of taking those films beyond that. But uh, films, feature films and so on, because you, you have a natural distribution uh, process and people will come to see a feature film in a cinema for which they will also pay. And that's how the idea of Manthan developed. The decision to make a film rather than just a documentary on the cooperative experiment that was Amul proved to be a game changer in hindsight because it helped at multiple levels. First, it immortalized the story of how Amal was created and grown across the country and across generations. Then it helped spread the idea of what cooperatives could do and most importantly, it created an emotional tie between the urban cinema-going middle-class audiences that proved over time to be Amul's most loyal customers. The idea was that uh, if you have a feature film, 
it will have it can be shown to general public at large and which was a very useful thing for us it would be very good to do that and that was the whole point of it and he he his he came up with this very interesting idea of even that should be done as a cooperative effort involving the farmers who were in the cooperative and that is how we made manthan and of course fortunately that film was also commercially successful apart from being commercially successful it had a huge run in different ways over the years because it was used as a tool to start new cooperatives it would be shown by spearhead teams of the national dairy development board say would you like to create a cooperative like this this is a story that about making milk cooperatives and that became a kind of method also to persuade farmers to join milk create milk cooperatives in their own areas but manthan which finally won numerous national awards and is still used in the company's advertisement is only one factor that helped amul connect with urban india the other is this little girl who at 47 is still one of the most familiar mascots in india more on that when we return <laughs>